And this is the challenge in my life. And this is where I would like to make an influence. But they just haven't finished the job. So this is who I am. This is my uh, over, project over the years. It took a lot of pain. This is my masterpiece. So I am Albert Levis. I'm a psychiatrist. And uh, my reason to be here as the innkeeper of the Wilburton Inn is when I published this book, The Formal Theory of Behavior, and also a workbook that goes along with it as a program of emotional education. I thought I deserve to have a forum to spread new knowledge on psychology becoming a real science and indeed the science of conflict resolution. My childhood was affected by experiencing the conflicts of the Second World War at three levels. One was the war with the enemies invading Greece. It is also the dramatic experience of the Holocaust and we were in hiding with assumed names. And uh, then after that, the civil war, which was between communists and nationalists, which also was very painful personally, because it killed my grandfather. And also during that time, my father passed away. So as a child of the Second World War, I had an interesting conflict to find out about my identity, to understand uh, myself, to understand cultures, and why was the world so crazy and so self-destructive. I had to live with all of these cultural uh, tragedies and seeing you know, what was going on and how could we address that, figuring out a meaningful development and I uh, evolved gradually and through uh, the beginning is understanding science and then applying it to test it out by developing a psychological assessment and in the psychological assessment we had to identify both the relational modalities, the alternative ways of resolving conflict and see which is the affinity that you have for that particular modality and also creating a metaphor story to apply the conflict resolution in something that is symbolically meaningful to the person by creating an animal metaphor test. And so the uh, assessment process is the second step in my research, which I developed in the 70s and 80s. I always felt uh, I wanted to rejoin freedom uh, and uh, not be uh, in a minority, I was the only Jewish kid in my classroom uh, in a very small uh, minority in Greece. I never had a, an affinity for my particular group because I wasn't part of it. I never had a bar mitzvah. So I wanted to find out about Judaism, the lost culture. I was the last of the Mohicans and here there were some more Mohicans and I joined I came to the States and I had a very good luck with finding a family uh, that is well established. And I, I also, at the same time, I bought the Wilburton Inn and I created a number of art exhibits which are uh, simplifying knowledge about conflict resolution for the public. And so I came to Vermont with a vision. And after I finished my book, <laughs> then I bought the and gradually I moved to understand the 
uh, case studies as interventions to help people who have a modality that creates pathology as a therapeutic experience and therapeutic technology. I started my private practice mm -hmm. which I named uh, the Center for the Study of Normative Behavior, normative being what is acceptable and understanding cultural differences and developing there the theory, the testing, uh, testing, introducing it into the study of the uh, psychopathology. And from there, I developed case studies and I've completed a second series of books. And, but I felt the need to reconcile faith and reason, understanding scientifically, which is the Greek type of strength, questioning and uh, finding meaning as a Jew, finding the respect of authority, morality. By using a sample of creativity, you see how the person deals with conflict. Completing the book is completing metaphors that capture each one of your six emotions. So the emotions are stress, response, anxiety, defense, reversal, compromise. This one starts with the conflicts of metaphors in my childhood. This is the war between the Germans and the British, the Greek temple and the church and the Jewish temple and my family hiding in a cave. <laughs> and so out of this we are, you know, Assuming the, the tactic identity of Pinocchio, who is my capacity of changing my name from Albert Levis to Nicholas Theologopoulos and feeling like a liar. <laughs> but we have to save ourselves from the killer whale of metaphors. And so here, <laughs> Geppetto, who is the carpenter creating the Pinocchio, which is a puppet, saying to his father, I found a way of becoming a real person rather than being a puppet. And this is being a puppet here. And so this is my way of saying my identity is conflict resolution. And here is my Oedipus who has a very different solution than Freud. And so this is my statement as a theoretician opposite to Freud. He creates, his unconscious creates conflict. My unconscious creates resolutions. And so this is the outcome of that where you have a family and this is my family in front of the Wilburton Inn. This is my dream come true. The evolution of the conflict resolution battery is a compromise, a short story. And here is where you see conflict resolution as a fiddler on the roof. The fiddler is Judaism. And all the metaphors of the world, including Persian flag, <laughs> go around like a halo, saying, okay, <laughs> let's resolve our problems with science. So this is my metaphors and you see what is in my heart and what has been making my life meaningful and uh, you know proceeding now to making a real contribution. The world is victim of its metaphors that are not understood right. <laughs> my contribution is shedding light to the metaphors and saying that there is science that we can all see things the same way because right now we have divisive interpretations of what is right and wrong. And this is the challenge in my life. And this is where I would like to make an influence, <laughs> upstaging Freudian and conscious with a conflict resolution one. I want to get every other person in here. And respecting religions for being partial and complementary discoveries of improving family, but they just haven't finished the job. <laughs>